Creative thinking is now available for purchase at www.mikebowensjr.com. Get your mind right by learning how to use the tools that Mike Bowens gives in this awesome read. If you are interested in starting a daycare business, you've come to the right place. Mike Bowens has three different packages that you can choose from that will fit your daycare business needs. Visit www.mikebowensjr.com for more information. New releases on his new clothing line, Mogul Mentality, and Where Motivation Meets Faith, is now available for purchase. You will find sizes from men, women, children, toddlers, and infants, and more. Make sure you visit MikeBowensJr.com for all your apparels and accessories. Let's go, it's your man Mike Bowens coming to you once again, live and direct. And I got a powerful message for you. This message is entitled, Overcoming Disappointment, Self-Discouragement, and Self-Doubt. And we're gonna tackle those in this message. Now listen, sometimes in life things happen where they don't go the way that you had it planned out. You may have put the vision board up. You may have prayed about it. You may have even given into uh, God's work, right? You may have given 100% effort, but it didn't work out. And at times you may feel devastated. You may feel like, I don't understand why this is not working for me. How come how many, I tried so many different times? But guess what? If you keep replaying it over in your mind, it's going to discourage you to the point that you don't want to try anymore. It's going to discourage you to the point where you just want to give up. And what you have to do is accept what didn't work when you tried and be like a scientist. Write down what you did and how you could do it differently. Right? What did you did you have any bright spots? Did anything work out? Did anything um um, work the way that you hoped that it would, right? Was it was it the marketing that was off? Was it the product? Could you tweak it? Could you do it a little better? Could you let more people know uh, about the product? And the thing about it is, when you do that, when you have a, a honest talk with yourself, then guess what? You put yourself in a position to do better the next time. But if you just look at it like it just didn't work, nothing about it was good, nothing worked, then guess what? You're killing yourself from ever having another opportunity. You're not literally dying, but you're emotionally dead because you're not even looking at the bright side of it. You're not even looking at the glass half full. You're just looking at it, it just didn't work. And, and I don't want to try it no more. And I know about that. I know about being so depressed where you feel like the ceiling is coming down on you. You feel like you're just so depressed, your body hurts. Everything hurts, your neck hurts, your feet hurt, your back hurt. Everything hurts because in your mind, you're rehearsing it over and over and over again. And I don't know if you've ever been to the point where you feel so depressed, you start having panic attacks. Like you just breathe, you just feel like you're losing your breath. You can't breathe because your mind is going a mile a minute and you're trying to understand why things are not working out and you just feel like you can't breathe. You feel like you can't make it. But I just want to encourage somebody today that you can make it. You're more than a conqueror, right? God's never going to give you anything more than you can handle. And if he gave you the vision, if he gave you the idea, if he gave you the goals, if he gave you the dream, he'll give you the provision for you to accomplish it. He'll give you the provision for you to move from where you are to the next level. But you can't give up. You got to fight back. You got to lock in. You got to say, you know what? I'm not going to quit on my goals. I'm not going to quit on my dreams. I'm not going to give it. I'm not going to give up and I'm not going to give in. You got to lock into the point where you say, you know what? I see what happened in the past. This might not have worked. This may have failed, but I'm not a failure. I'm not a failure. I'm not a person that's going to quit. And see, you got to learn how to separate the two. Just because something failed doesn't mean that you're a failure. Hmm, that's a bomb going off. Boom! Just because something failed does not mean that you're a failure. Does not mean that you're never going to succeed. I remember a long time ago, I had this pastor tell me, uh, you know, everything you do is going to fail. Everything you put your hands to is not going to work because you don't listen. And I try to be respectful. You understand what I'm saying? But you're not going to speak death into my life and think I'm just going to sit there and take it. And my thing, I'm like, well, who died and made you God? Because last I know, my future is in his hands. 
And the next thing I know, death and life is in the power of my tongue, not your tongue. So no, you can't manipulate me. No, you can't just put those, those, those demonic words into the atmosphere over my life because everything that I put my hands to is going to prosper. Everything I put my hands to is blessed, right? Because God put the blessing on me, not because of what you say, but because of what I say. Right? Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so you got to get that type of confidence about yourself that, you know what, things in the past may not have worked out, but it's a new day and God is doing a new thing. Right? And if you woke up and you got breath in your lungs and you can see and you can put your foot on the ground, then guess what? You got to change the way you think. You got to change the way you see things. And say, so you know what? The past is the past and today is a new day and my future looks even better than my today. And by you doing that, you begin to break down the walls of depression. You begin to break down the walls of disappointment. You begin to break down the walls of discouragement. Because you're not looking at the past with a negative lens. You're looking at the past to learn from, from what, it, what happened then and what you can do different now. Right? And so even right now... I'm in the process of building a brand new studio, recording studio uh, for music and also a recording, a recording space for what I'm doing right now with this and also a space for me to type and to write my books. So guess what? Each level, I got a progress. In each level, I can look back and say, okay, I was here and this is how I did it. And I didn't get the particular results that I wanted. So I had to make some tweaks and make some adjustments. You just don't give up and throw in the towel, right? And so I had to make these adjustments. And now next time, it's going to be even better. Because now, we know how to put the green screen into play. And my wife is going to be able to help me to edit it and have the images behind me of what I'm saying. So now you're going to be able to see what I'm saying. Mm. That's a bomb going off. Boom! But if you allow discouragement to dampen your spirits, if you allow discouragement to reign in you, to rule in you, it'll kill your dream, it'll kill your vision before you ever get it off the ground. And then that puts you in a position to be manipulated by wicked and evil people who will try to get you to do things for them, right? To alter your destiny, alter your life, just because they sense that you're feeling down and you're feeling discouraged and you're feeling out. Do me a favor. No matter how you're feeling right now, monitor who you tell that you feel a certain way. Hope this makes sense to somebody. You can't tell everybody that you feel discouraged. You can't, tell, you, you can't tell everybody that you feel disappointment because some people will use that against you to manipulate you to do their bidding. They'll use that against you, right, to do things that works against you but for them. You always uh, make a, a negotiations or you always speak when you're coming from a point of faith and you're coming from a point of courage. Right? When you feel disappoint, disappointed, get to a place where you and God, and if you got to cry before Him, you cry before Him. If you got to weep before Him, you weep before Him. And you talk to Him and let it out. Right? And then once you get your courage and you get your strength and you get your faith back, then you can step back into the realm of where people are, and then you can talk to them confidently about your vision, about your goals, and about your dreams. This way you will not be manipulated, right, off of the emotion that you felt previously. So listen, you are made to fight, you are made to win. I wanna see you keep pushing forward. If this message has reached anybody, drop me a note down in the comment section as we continue to move forward with 60 days of motivation and inspiration. This is your man, Mike Bowens. I'm signing off until next time, saying, be blessed. www.mikebowensjr.com for all your daycare consulting, apparel, and creative thinking. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.